Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Donna Phillips. Today we conclude our series on political parties as part of the Civil Discourse and American Legacy Project. We are joined today by special guest Dr. Lester Brooks, American History Professor Emeritus from Anne Arundel Community College. Welcome again, Dr. Brooks. Thank you for having me. Sure. Dr. Brooks, can you explain how political parties continued to evolve into the 1960s? Uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt in the 1930s uh, was a member of the Democratic Party, and he believed that the government can be used to uplift uh, uh, the nation, to try and get the country out of the Great Depression. Uh, that idea of the government getting involved in social programs uh, will continue into the 1960s as the Democrats begin to support the civil rights movement. Uh, by the 1960s, on the other hand, the Republicans are more reluctant to use government to get involved in, let's say, the civil rights movement in general. Uh, and so we see this evolution of political parties as their views begin to change from uh, the past. Uh, and this is a constant evolutionary uh, uh, process with the political parties and the changing views based on uh, the, the nature of society and society's needs at any given specific time. Great. Thank you, Dr. Brooks. This concludes our series on political parties as part of the Civil Discourse and American Legacy Project. Thank you for joining us. 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.